That's not my name. It was Mita's first day of school. In the morning, Baba made her favorite breakfast. Good morning, Mita. <laughs> Mama kissed Mita's forehead. I love you, Mita. And Nani waved them goodbye. Good luck, Mita. Mita had been waiting for months to start school. She was so excited to learn. To play, and most of all, to make friends, she shyly stood in front of the class and said, "My name is Mira." Mira thought her name was simple and easy, but the <laughs> other kids couldn't say it right. Hi, Mina. Miriam. Hey, Moto. They stretched out the I until it sounded like an E, Mira. and their R Hi, sounded、Mira. wrong. Miha. Some people Yo, even forgot、Mara. the H.、Miha. Even some of her teachers said it wrong. Is Mina here? Mira didn't want to be called Mina for the rest of the year, but she was too shy to speak up and correct her teacher. Here, Hayden asked Mira if he could call her Maya. He said that would be easier for everyone to say. She wanted to shout. That's not my name, but she didn't. Mira's first day hadn't gone how she had imagined at all. Why can't anyone say my name right? She wondered sadly. Mama and Baba and Nani can say it. Why can't anyone else? Hmm. Mira felt like giving up. She thought about changing her name to something easier, something other kids would think was normal. <laughs> If she had a different name, no one would get it wrong when she ordered hot chocolate at cafe. Maybe she could finally find a keychain with her name on it. Maybe she could make some friends. When she arrived home. Mira told Mama about her plan to change her name, but Mama didn't look happy. You have a beautiful name, she said. Mira means happiness in Arabic, Mama said. The first time I heard you laughed, <laughs> I knew that it fit you perfectly. I know your name is different from your classmates, but that isn't a bad thing. It just means that it is unique and special. Your name is something to be proud of, and no one can take that away from you. Mama said Mira shouldn't change her name for anyone. If people can remember names like Beethoven and Tchaikovsky and Michelangelo, they can remember Mira. You're right, Mama. I'm proud of my name, and I love what it means. I can't wait to tell the whole world that my name is Mira. Mira kept Mama's word close to her when she went back to school the next day.、Mm, my name is Mira, not Maya. She told Hayden proudly, and explained how to pronounce it properly.、Uh, I'll make sure to say your name right for now on, Mira," said Hayden. "I'm also really sorry that I hurt your feelings yesterday." When he asked if they could play together, Mira smiled. She just made her first friend at school. Sometimes people still got it wrong, but that was okay. Hey, Mira! Because now Mira knew what to say. That's not my name. Now Mira had so many new friends at school. <laughs> they all have unique, beautiful names. And she always makes sure she says them right. I like my name because it means little loved one," said Aiko. Jasper joined in and said he was named after his granddad. Mira loved how different they all are, and she is excited to make even more friends. Maybe you can be a friend too. Hi, my name is Mira. What's yours? <laughs>